I'm going to show you how to get the Mimic Tear Ashes. This will summon a copy of yourself. Let me show you real fast. A copy of yourself. Now, when you do this, it'll summon with whatever you have equipped. So, there are options where you can summon it. You can change gear, then summon it, and then change gear to something else. So, like, you could build it tanky like this, and then right afterwards, you could go take all this armor off, put spells on, or do something like that. Put, you know, staffs, or depending on how you want to use this summon versus how you want to actually build. It's up to you to try to menu that in an actual fight, if you want to. Or you just summon a copy of yourself, and you just fight. Uh, the Mimic tier will follow you around and fight bosses. If I wanted to fight the guy behind me, it'll follow me and it'll also fight. But the Mimic tier kind of has erratic random AI. It kind of just throws abilities and attacks literally at random. So don't expect a whole lot from it as far as tactics. Also, to summon this one, instead of using FP, it'll use HP. It uses 660 HP. So you have to make sure you have enough HP in order to do that. You're going to have to heal afterwards depending on your build or heal afterwards pretty much on any build because it uses so much HP. So I'm going to show you how to get this. In order to get it, you're going to have to go t underground to Nokron Eternal City and it's going to be really deep into there. Uh, it's past Mimic Tier. It's past Nice Sacred Grounds deep in the city. And uh, in order to unlock this place, you have to go defeat Radon over at Star Scourge Radon, which actually you have to go over here to the Red Main Castle and be, take part in the festival. It'll have you fight Radon. If you want to know how to cheese Radon, the link for that will be somewhere in the description of this video. You can cheese the Radon fight or just fight it, beat it, and then you go over to Fort Height West and there will be a hole in the ground suddenly, like a meteor hit, and you will go down through there to get to Nokron Eternal City. Now, I'm going to show you sped up version of me running through the place because it's kind of like a rat's nest. And we're going to show you how to get the mimic tier. So once you get to the Mimic boss in Nokron Eternal City, there is a simple cheese exploit that you can do, which is to take off your weapon and also your armor if you want, and then enter the boss room. What this will do is make the boss mimic you with no gear. So once it activates like that, then go ahead and put your stuff back on. And now the boss is helpless and cannot really hurt you. I mean, it does a teeny bit of damage, but not really. And you can just, you know, do whatever you want and just own this thing. Or you can sit there and fist fight it, which would also be really fun. And once you defeat the Mimic Tier boss, it will give you a Larval Tier and a Silver Tier Mask. But what's more important than that is that now you can access the rest of the city. So you would activate this grace and you will head no to the north and get to, you know, you gotta get way deeper in this place. Now, once you get to here on the map, then you are almost there. You want to activate this grace and then enter the city. It's going to be really confusing to get to get through here. Now, once you have made it into here, you are going to go, going to want to go over to here and use a stone sword key. This will open up a room with an enemy that's not too absurdly strong. By well, not too absurdly strong, I mean very weak, actually. And then there will be a chest in here, and inside of this chest is none other than the Mimic Tear Ashes. Right here on the map in the underground. So that's how to get the Mimic Tear. And if you want to see it in action, I can go run over to this guy real fast. And we can watch my Mimic Tear go at him a little bit. 
But yeah, that's Minute Tier. It's just a copy of yourself. I'm um, thinking about making a video in the near future of best ways to optimize your Mimic tier for battle. I think that might be a fun video at some point. But you can see the Mimic tier just kind of does stuff literally randomly. And uh, which can make it good or bad depending on how you want it to be. I mean, people talk about giving it tons of damage negation talismans and lots of different things you can do. Uh, but it'll scale off your stats. So late game, like new game plus 20 and stuff, uh, it'll probably be way better than most other summons just because... If the day comes at your max level and have 99 of all attributes, it'll have 99 of all attributes, and that'll be a lot better than the other summons. But that's the Mimic Tier. That's how to get the Mimic Tier. That's what it looks like when it fights. Now you know where to find the Mimic Tier in Elden Ring.